Welcome back to Algo Trading series using Find Script from Market Secrets. This is episode 12 of the series, and in this episode, we are going to learn how to create Trading View alerts. Trading View have several different types of alerts. So, in order to create alerts from the UI, you need to click on this particular alerts option, and then you need to click on the Create Alert button. So. In trading view, there are different types of alerts. So if you look at here, there are uh, you know some six types of alerts we have. So first one is notifications on the app. This only works if you have a trading view app in your mobile. So if you have the app installed, the trading alert will be triggered and you will receive a push notification straight to your mobile device. And the second one is the pop-up alert. This will display a window pop-up inside your trading view chart when the alert is triggered. And the next one is email alert. This will send you an email whenever an alert is triggered. You can specify the message that is sent so that you know which indicator triggered the email alert. And the next one is webhook URL. So this will generate a webhook URL which can be integrated with other platforms. And the next one is the play sound option. This plays an audio alert whenever a signal is generated. So you can select from 8 to 10 different sources of sounds and you can choose how long the sounds should play for. So if you look at here, right, so there are multiple options and you can also, you know, select uh, how long this alert needs to be played and last option is sending email to sms this will send you a text message to your phone and in order to use this feature you may have to have a phone data carrier that allows email to sms functionality just like your old school way to sms website so if you have that integration you can use it otherwise it's not possible to use it in india so these are the different types of alerts that we have now how to set up the trading view alerts now you can easily set up the alerts using this particular window window itself so you can just set the condition for example which stock you want to you know uh, trade or which specific condition that you want to trade for example right uh, episode 12 have some specific conditions right so in this particular script we have some specific conditions if it needs to be triggered based on that you can just select that or if or if you want you can just select the stock and you can check for crossing whether it is crossing any specific value for example if this is crossing the value of 40,000, Bank Nifty is crossing 40,000, then I need to get alert. So whether I need to get alert only once or every time uh, the price crosses 40,000, that you can determine, uh, you know, using this particular option every time or only once. And the expiration of the alert, so you can set an expiration date for the alert. For example, so if some traders are trading intraday, right, they will need the alerts to be triggered only on that particular day. If not, it will go invalid. In that case, you can use a expiration or if you want this to be available forever, for example, if it's a price action based alert right then you would need it forever in that case you can go for open-ended alerts so some alerts trigger after three four or five years even and uh, you know it will come in handy this is especially true when it comes to price action so in that case you can go for open-ended alert and then you can give the alert a name and then you can also you know give a message so any custom message that you want to differentiate uh, each alert from right you can pass it in this particular message section so this is a purely straightforward uh, to understand because every option is uh, uh, you know in the GUI now how to add this alert uh, functionality using the script so now I have uh, selected the uh, script that we have used in episode 5 so this is the script that we used in episode 5 and uh, to this script so this is the whole script and to this script I have added one line code so which is nothing but your alert condition so this will create an alert condition for me and it will automatically alert it when this particular conditions are triggered so that's the objective of this particular one-liner code this is incredibly easy isn't it because it's just an one-liner code so the first parameter for this alert condition is uh, you know the trade trigger condition or you know the alert trigger condition so we are using uh, you know the long condition or short condition which is nothing but our trade entries as the alert trigger and followed by that we are giving this alert a title and a message as simple as that so if you pass this information right you can create this alert through the script and that is it 
go ahead and give it a shot and if you have any queries please let us know we'll be happy to help so this brings us to the end of today's episode and also to the end of season one of our pine script trading series if you have any queries about this episode or this series in general then let us know in the comment section we'll be happy to answer it there will be next set of uh, sessions that will be coming in the near future so stay tuned for more and if you have any queries about any of our offerings or services please let us know in the comment section we'll answer those as well also have a look at our website www.marketsecrets.in we have a lot of data fields lot of learnings and a lot of free courses available for you so do check it out when you are free and with that note i'm closing today's session thanks again for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye